Stayallday.com What up everybody, Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com We're here for Q&A, this is Q&A number 17 As always, I've not read these questions I'm going to go through these one by one Address each question, whether it be a question that I've already answered I'll refer you to where that answer is at And address everything that's new Let's get right into it, no time wasted First of all, Patrick Green uh, He just said one of the answers I gave was hilarious So glad to entertain you, Patrick Next question, Tony He says, have I ever considered playing for any teams in Lebanon? I mean, there's a, hundreds of different countries in the world with basketball leagues, so it's not really have I considered any particular country. It just depends on the situation, offers, things like that. So it's not about me saying, oh, this country or that country. It's just about the whole situation as far as playing, off the court, and business. Next question with Kobe Durant. It says, can you tell me about your experience playing against James Harden and Serge Ibaka? I mean, it ain't really that much to talk about. We played pickup. About, about a few days of pickup. Some days certain guys were there, some days certain guys was not, but ain't really much of a story to it. It's just basketball. E Ziggy 1000 says, sometimes when I play ball in my gym, there are older people there, I get nervous. It affects my play. Do I have any tips on how to handle being nervous? Click on the guides and tips page on my website. I might put an annotation on the video, but if I don't, just go to my website, dreallday.com. Click on the link that says guides and tips, and I got a bunch of stuff about that on that website. Johnny Yadane says, when a person playing basketball, can they have swagger? I was wondering about that. Johnny, you gotta ask me a better question than that. I don't know how you define swagger and what the hell that means, so you gotta ask me a better question. Jerome Turner says, did I see that Vince Carter buzzer beater? Uh, yeah, I think everybody who watches basketball saw it eventually. GJI says, me and my friend had a discussion about thinking versus reacting on the court. My friend says, you're always thinking on the court at all times, but I said it's more about reacting because I think Thinking too much will slow you down. Who do you agree with and why? Uh, GG, I don't really care who's right. What does it matter? All that matters is the results of what happens when you're playing on the court. So you two can figure out who's right. And in the end of everything, it doesn't matter who's right. All that matters is the results that happen from the results of what anybody does on the court. Mr. Smile 1000 says, what do you do if your coach and you don't get along? He refuses to use you on the court. I'm a younger player, so he has just a couple of guys practicing. He can't kick anyone off the team. Well, Mr. Smile, if you don't want to be on the team, get off the team. And if you do want to be on the team and you don't feel like you're getting the proper playing time or it's not working out for you, go talk to the coach and tell him what your situation is and see what you can work out. But if you don't like the situation, get off the team. Nobody's forcing you to be there. You're not, you're not in no jail cell. You don't have handcuffs on, so either play or don't play. Adrian Campo says, at what age should stop playing ball? I don't know if he means me or someone else, but to answer that question, whatever he's saying, it doesn't matter. Each person decides themselves when they're going to stop playing. Some people stop playing when they're 19. Some people stop playing when they're 40. So it's up to that person when they're going to stop playing. Jace Shilcut says, the jump manual shifter, how does it have to be downloaded? Jace, the jump manual is a program that you have online access, which means you could Basically, you log into it, so you can then go and access the program, whether you're on your phone, your iPad, at home, or your computer. Burr C says, there's some kids way better than me at basketball, and I play every day whenever I go to the court, they don't pass me the ball. In tryouts, they never give me the ball either. What can I do to get the ball? I'm short and fast, they never let me be a point guard, I'm really frustrated. Well, Burr, well, the first thing you need to do is work on your game and stop whining about the situation. They don't give you the ball because they don't see you as a good player. And second of all, after you work on your game, you actually develop some skills. The few and far between times you do get the ball, do something with it so that they see you're a player who's worth giving the ball to. And as you improve in your game, you'll be the type of player who gets the ball. You won't need somebody to give it to you. So those are three things you can do. Kelichi Achu says, what's your ultimate goal in life? Have you already achieved it? Well, I got things I want to accomplish in life, but I don't share every single thing that I want to do, or every thought that I have with the public, a lot of people ask me questions like that. What do you want to do or some, what's your why or whatever motivational shit y'all be listening to. <laughs> the things that I want to do is just the things that I do. So if you want to see what I'm trying to do, you just got to watch my actions and we'll go from there. Whatever I want to share, I share. Whatever I don't, I don't. Next question, Rod, Rod Foley says, what are some things I can do in everyday life or outside of playing basketball to keep improving my game? Well, what game are you talking about? If you want to improve your basketball game, then you got to do basketball things. So that question doesn't really make sense to me. Subhan PG says, I watched all your mental videos. They helped a lot. Thank you. 
What are your thoughts on meditation? Do you do it? And if you do it, how often do you do it? Also, Rhea, I can't. It can help you get focused and get into the zone. What's up, Hannah? If you watched all my mental game videos, you would have saw the video I did on meditation. So you already lied to me. And I just read a book on meditation written by Russell Simmons that's covered on my website. So if you watched everything, now go to my website and read everything because I've already covered that topic multiple times. Derek Rose says, how long, how many times do you practice on a daily basis? Love your videos. Uh, people have been asking me this question for years. I don't time my practices. There is no average time that I practice and there is no average number of times that I practice. But thank you for loving the videos, Derek. Slizzard Moon says, I'm really underweight and I want to gain some weight. Do I know what the best way is to gain weight? The videos are awesome. You're the best b-ball player. Well, thank you, Slizzard. If you want to gain weight, two things you need to do. Number one, you need to consume more calories than you're burning. And number two, you need to lift weights. If you want to gain weight as far as good weight, which, which we mean in terms of strength, then you need to lift weights and you need to eat more calories than you are currently burning. If you eat fewer calories, then you're going to lose weight. If you eat the same amount, you'll maintain your weight. If you eat more, you'll gain weight. And if you were to check out at hoophandbook.com, I got a program called Position of Power, which covers strength training. You can read the description of the program and watch the introduction video. It's about 30 minutes long between me and my trainer, who's the author of that program. You'll get a lot more information, but that's the answer to your question, exactly what you asked. Nick Burt says, do you prefer watching a high-level D1 college game or an NBA game? What are your thoughts on the current one-and-done situation in the NCAA, and how do I think it affects the game negatively or positively? I don't really watch college basketball at all. The, I definitely watch way more NBA. I don't watch hardly any college basketball, maybe just the Final Four or a couple games of March Madness. And my thoughts on the current one-and-done situation, ask me, what about it? I mean, you're not asking me anything about it. What are my thoughts on it? I mean... Ask me something specific about it if you want me to give you a specific answer. Do I think it affects the game negatively or positively? I don't think either. I think it just, the situation is what the situation is. Next question. Benji Celestin says, Dre, what are your thoughts on the Clippers on fiasco and what type of action would the NBA take? Well, I guess Benji didn't consider that I do these videos every Friday. I don't do them every day. They're once a week. So that situation's already been handled. I basically agree with it. They banned the guy. They're going to force him out of ownership, which is pretty much, I think everybody was pretty much in agreement with that's what needed to happen, and that's what's going to happen. Josh Champagne says, how should I handle a serious trash talker? Should I trash talk, trash talk back or try and ignore? Well, Josh, first of all, somebody's talking to you, asking me how to respond to it. You're, if you're old enough to be on YouTube and type out that question, I, I guess that you're at least like 14, 15, 16 years old. By that age, you're old enough to use your brain and decide yourself how to respond to things. You'll need somebody to tell you how to respond to somebody talking to you. You can either talk back or you can choose not to. You don't have to do either one. It's your decision. I also made a video about trash talking, so if you search my name, Dre Baldwin, and type in trash talk, you'll see the video I did about that, which goes into that question more in depth. Ahmad, Ahmed Masood says, what's the best play you remember doing in a pro game? The best play I remember doing probably be either some three-pointer I made at a big moment or some dunk, but I'm not going to sit here and try to think back over all the games to try to answer that. Jay Shilkut, uh actually, he already asked that question. Montavi, Montavi Kids, I'm heading into grade 12 next year. My coach wants me to increase my basketball IQ and my vision. Uh, there's simple ways of doing these to improve. How can I work on it? You've been one reason I improve of your videos. Well, thank you, Montavi. First of all, if your coach told you to do something and you don't know how to do it, why would you walk away from the conversation without asking him? So what I'll, the first thing I suggest you do is go back to the coach and ask him, hey, coach, you told me to do something, but I don't know what to do, so can you give me some more information? Well, why did you walk away without getting the information if you didn't know? Now, that's your fault. And the second thing is, if you want to improve your IQ and your vision, you need to play in basketball games. You're not going to get it from watching YouTube. You're not going to get it from watching somebody else play. You're going to get it from playing yourself. You need to gain experience. Both of those things come from playing experience and nowhere else. Isaiah Kelly says, when I shoot in practice, I'm fine, but in the game, I always shoot over. Any tips on how to control my momentum? You need to practice more and play in more games. Ty Breezy says, has anyone said you like Andre Iguodala? Uh, yes, I've heard that many times. And his question is, what do I think about adding a four-point line? I seriously don't think that's going to happen. But if it does, then we'll just see what happens. Other than that, I don't really have an opinion. It's just speculation. If it happens, then we play with it. If it doesn't happen, then we just go on with the game as it is. Zach Robertasio says, Jay, you're a huge inspiration. Your videos are awesome. Thank you, Zach. 
And he says, I was wondering how old were you when you first able to dunk on a 10 foot rim? Uh, when I first dunked on a 10 foot rim, I was 16 years old. And I don't know how tall I was, so please don't follow up with that question anybody. People have been asking me that over and over, I don't know. Lumumba Bataile says, you're going to go back to the D-League and try out. Lumumba, check out the video I made last September. Search my name, Dre Baldwin, and just type in overseas. Dre Baldwin overseas or Dre Baldwin D-League. You'll see a video I made. It's about 40 minutes long where I talk about basketball career, the business of basketball, the D-League, overseas, everything. And your question will be answered in that video. Scoogs says, Dre, I'm athletic, a two-slash-three position player, but I struggle getting enough power on my jump shot. I can't work out why I lack power, so I shoot air balls. It's a matter of shooting until I figure it out. Scoogs knows not. First of all, what you need to do is stop shooting three-pointers since you're shooting air balls. Why would you keep shooting something that you know you can't make? Second of all, if you want to increase your shooting range, you need to increase your overall body strength. You can't figure out why you lack power. You lack power because you're weak. You don't have any power. So that's why you lack it. So you need to do some things to gain strength. And since you haven't been able to do it on your own for whatever reason, check out hoophandbook.com. We got two programs, one called the Ultimate Athlete, other called Position of Power. Both of those are focused on gaining strength. One of them needs no equipment at all. The other one is people who do have access to a gym and equipment. You can read the program descriptions, detailed program descriptions of both on the hoophandbook.com website. Next question, Griffiths DR says, you seem to get slightly irritated by dumb questions. I was wondering what you think would be a good question. Well, this is definitely not one. <laughs> Big Mo says, what are your thoughts on the Clippers owners' comments about minorities? I already addressed that. Ali Foyer says, at any point in your life are you considered skinny or underweight? Well, Ali, I mean, that's all based on the person who's saying it. One person might look at me and say, yo, you fat. Another person look at you and say you skinny. So has any person ever in the world had the opinion that I was skinny? Sure. Somebody might have their opinion right now, so that ain't really my concern. All I'm concerned with is how I feel and what I'm doing. Wes Cunningham says, I already answered that. Uh, Rob Jett says, no questions. Just want to thank you for helping me work on my game and get better. Uh, you're welcome, Rob. Rishab Merota says, are all pros, including people who play overseas, better than Division One players? And then he clarified by saying, I mean, can people who play pro overseas play Division One basketball. Well, professional basketball is a higher level than Division One basketball. So, yes, I would say the answer to that question is yes. Now, is it possible that there's a guy playing Division One who's better than somebody overseas? Of course. But people who play professional basketball, they're professionals. I mean, they do it for a living. They're getting paid for it. So I would say any one of them could step onto a D1 team and play, of course. But according to the NCAA rules, they would be ineligible to participate anyway. Uh, Jeffrey Downey says... What is my height, weight, age, and what league I play in? Jeffrey, go to my website, dreallday.com, and do some reading. You'll get all the information you need about me, probably more than you want. Joey Cowley says, do I think Isaiah Thomas of Sacramento Kings will be an all-star next season? He likes the numbers. He was similar to Kyrie's, but he wasn't an all-star. Joey, I don't know. It depends on what he does next year. His numbers this year won't matter. His numbers next year are what's going to matter. And also, his team has to have some success. Those seem to be the two factors that get people into all-star games. So he need both team success and individual success. Dmitry Tukovic says, I know you released the fresh new batch of signature workout programs. What I consider, he names a few players that I should consider. Yeah, I'm always considering different players, so thanks for the suggestions. You'll just have to see what I come up with when the next batch comes out. Anthony Aguilar says, is KD the most famous person I have ever Met. Uh, no, he's not. I've met people more famous than KD, non basketball players. Eli Classfield says, Do you ever eat any sweets? I see you're very strong and I'm skinny, but I'm gaining good muscles little by little. I do eat sweet, a lot of fruits. Is that okay, do you think? Well, first of all, do I ever eat any sweets? Of course I eat sweets. Every once in a while I'll have a cupcake or something like that. Maybe even some candy. I don't eat candy. I used to eat a lot of candy. I don't really eat candy at all anymore. Uh, he says, do I think it's okay for him to eat sweets and a lot of fruits? Well, first of all, Eli, I can't really determine what's okay for you to eat. How your body is going to develop factors in everything you do over the course of a day. How much you sleep, the type of foods you eat, the sweets you eat, the exercises you do, your full physical activity, all of that stuff factors into how your body is going to respond to things. So it's not just about one isolated thing, like if I eat sweets or what type of dinner I have 
or how much I exercise or how much sleep I get. Everything factors in together and I'm not a personal trainer nor am I a nutritionist. So I don't need to know all your information because I'm not here to determine whether that's good enough for you. I made a bunch of videos talking about this. If you go to my website, click on the page that says diet and nutrition and I cover all this stuff in detail along with a bunch of links to expert information for people who know a lot more about it than me. I suggest you check out the videos I made and also read all the links that I gave information to so you can get a full picture and then you can decide for yourself what will work for you and what will not. Overall, you're going to have to experiment a lot to find out what really is going to work for you or not. You can't just get it from reading and talking about it and thinking about it. You got to go out and live it so that you know. Next question, KD Titan. Uh, he says, I didn't answer his question on his video. Well, I don't know what your question was. If I didn't answer, it's probably a dumb question. But if it wasn't, then post another one. Joey, Kali. Uh, Joey, you already asked me a question. We don't do multiple questions here. We try to get to everybody. So everybody asks one question and we get to each person. The Game is On says, what's my opinion on Donald Sterling? I already addressed that. Dave Jeffers says, some of the questions you get are hilarious or being dumb as hell. The way you handle them are awesome. Well, thanks, Dave. I'm glad you find it entertaining. Zach Pate says, what is the most effective way to get daily game film in? Zach, I don't know what you mean. I'm going to assume that you mean get game film in, mean by like watching game film. If that's what you mean, the best, most effective way to do it is just to fucking do it. What kind of question is that? The Annoying Asian, last question. He says, how do you slow down a fast break layup so that you don't get to the hoop too fast and miss the layup? Well, just do it. You just explain exactly what you want to do. Why do you, what do you expect me to tell you that you didn't already just say? If you want to slow down and make a layup, slow down and make a layup. I don't know what, what tips can I give you on that that you don't already know. The only thing stopping you from doing it is your lack of practice and your lack of experience in working on it. So that's it. Thank you, everyone, for coming through with the questions. As for those who don't know, I address these questions once a week on Friday. So... And I address one question per person. So if you ask a question, that's your question. Don't come back and post another one. I'm not going to address it. If you ask something I already answered, as you've seen in this video, I refer you to where you can get those answers. That's it. That's all. Make sure you check out the videos I've been putting out from my guy Jacob over at Jump Manual. He's offered a bunch of information on vertical stuff that he hasn't shared before. And also some special things he wants to put forth. Actually, by now, it'll already be out and you'll see it. And it'll be on for the next couple of days. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com.